It's a brand new library with a new way of lending. Borrowing a book has been the same for decades. People read them for a set amount of time, then return them. If they don't, books become overdue, and readers are fined when they bring them back. But that's changing. Many Australian libraries have, since 2017, tested a no-fine policy. Managers say it has saved staff time and the costs of administration, which were ten times higher than the revenue raised from fines. Potential fines also put off poorer people from using libraries and stopped them borrowing books once they owed fines they couldn't pay. In the first trial that we had, the amount of items that got returned to the library was three times as many that we usually have in a year, so that was close to 70,000 items that came back. So we regained a whole lot of customers that hadn't been using our services because they were either afraid of the fines that were there or a bit embarrassed to come back. The trial has become a permanent change. We just want this to be a welcoming, friendly place. And having fines and chasing people down for money is really not the kind of relationship that we want to have with our community. In the digital age, libraries like this one mostly lend traditional books. They need to change to survive. But opinion is divided. It's great because I yeah, then don't have to try and remember the dates and things like that. And then we can just come in whenever it suits us. Are the people is waiting for the opportunity to read the same book. If they are not penalised, then the other person will be lost the opportunity. But the no-fine policy is spreading. This initiative is one that's proving popular, with councils across Australia and beyond borrowing the idea. Libraries in Scandinavia, Britain and the United States have scrapped the fine system. Other countries too are considering taking a leaf out of the same book. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.